Just your overall thoughts first, please, Brad. Um, oh, yeah, disappointing. The second half, probably the start of the second half, we beat ourselves. We, you know, like the effort was there. And, um, like I said to the boys, in 10 weeks now, out of the 10, 10 games, nine of them, they've really had a crack and tried to do the right things. We just probably, the games that we've, we've made tough for ourselves, we've got a habit of beating ourselves. And um, against those good teams, you know, like, just turned over too much possession early in the second half and you know, the last 10 or 15 minutes in the second half, the end of the game was probably what we needed to do with the first 10 minutes, you know, just graft away, grind away, get some field position, then you find your way over the trial line. Like they found their way over the trial line just through a glut of possession at the trial line. So, um, you know, we've got to learn from it, but, you know, I'm extremely grateful to the club and the opportunity I've been given to come over here for 10 weeks. The players have been terrific in terms of the the buy-in, trying to improve, get better. Um, they want to win for the club. You know, we've got a long pre-season ahead of us and we've got some work to do, um, but I'm happy with their attitude. The errors tonight were punished, weren't they? How yeah. tough were they to take? Yeah, they're tough. They had a red zone and, yeah, look, some errors from the back three, but how can I be critical? You know, they're, they're kids and they're, they're learning their, their trade and their effort was there and they've done a really good job. So um, that's part of the, the experience that they're going to get in it. What do you say to, to Alfie in particular? Nothing today. You know, it'll be part of his review moving forward in the for the pre-season. But, you know, look at the kids everywhere. His effort was everywhere. You know, he wants to win and... Um, but he'd done, he'd done more good things than bad things, but just some big moments at times in the game from, you know, just come back to bite you, don't they? So, um, you know, I'm not, I'm sad for him because he, he played, done a lot of good things, to, you know, more good things than he, than he got wrong. What about other positives tonight? Um, oh, look, there was plenty of fight and the effort was there and it was a good start, you know, and we... Didn't have much possession in the first half at the trial line and the two opportunities we got, we scored and we turned into points. Um, yeah, look, there's, there's good signs moving forward um, for us, but the, the fact is we're not playing finals and that's not good enough. So that's, we have to be playing finals. You said you wouldn't reflect on the season till after tonight, so yeah. do you reflect on the last 10 games? Yeah, well, I need to, yeah. Wait until early in the week and talk to the players about it and the staff. But um, like I just briefly said to the players, I was extremely grateful for the opportunity they gave me, the buy-in. Um, you know, like a, a stranger coming into the place, doesn't know anything about the place or the players, and they were really open and open-minded about it. Um, gave me the effort, gave the club, the, you know, and their teammates the effort and the physicality. Like I said, we just got to learn how you control a game and it's not that doesn't just come down to the halves you know there's how you control a game how you build a game and we've, we've shown at times when we did build you know we've built a game and we've played really well but we just l lack that control to be able to do it all the time has the last couple of games proved to you that it might be a bigger job that you have or, or not uh, look the, the opposition the two oppositions that we played um you know at the top of the table for a reason um, like we're riding that game at 10 all, 14 10 to start the second half. And then we get a penalty coming out of red zone, we make an error, gift them again field position. So they didn't have to work extremely hard for that field position. Um, and maybe the try, you know, under the post, I, I don't know what obstruction looks like. Well, that's two weeks in a row, we, honestly. So, um, you know, that's 14 10, we get a penalty there, who knows? But that's, it's not why we lost the game anyway. You know, and last week I just felt like we, we didn't give ourselves a chance because we just didn't turn up, off, we didn't get off the bus, ready to play. What about pre-season then? When, when does it start and what does a Brad Arthur pre-season look like? Um, well, we'll review this week and the following week we're going to give them a taste for a week of what it's going to be like and then they can have a bit of a break. They've got to learn that we should, be play, we should be training this time of the year anyway, playing finals, so we're going to train. Um, and then we'll come back, you know, have six weeks leading into our... Our yeah, unboxing day game. How tough is it going to be for them? Oh, it'll be it'll be hard, but you don't get anywhere from not working hard. Um, but you know there'll be plenty of footy as well. But yeah, we'll be, we'll be putting some time and effort into it. And can you address in pre-season some of the issues that, that are clearly there? Yeah, well, like we have errors in the play the ball. We've, 
you know what that's that detail if you do that a trainer will find its way into the field so you know there's lots of real simple fundamentals that we've got to get on top of um, and we'll be doing them under fatigue disappointing day for City who didn't get a, a final appearance yeah it's hard mate he's he tried over the last month he's he's hardly trained um, he's got that toe which can't move pretty much and he's hobbling around on it and he gets a needle in it to play each game and just couldn't get himself through training yesterday. Oh, you know, he couldn't even, you know, like five minutes. So, um, yeah, it's unfortunate for him that he doesn't get to have his last game with, the, with his teammates. What have you said to the departing players? Um, I'll talk to them during the week. Um, you know, I was disappointed for, for those guys and, you know, Reese and Dono in particular. They've been here for a long time, a lot, lot, you know, a lot longer than a lot of players at our club, and you can see how important it was to them when they spoke to the group at the end of the game. Um, but at least they can they can walk out of here knowing that that you know their teammates had a crack from tonight or didn't get the job done.